So for the past three, maybe four weeks, we've had a chance to speak with Helene Stillings every week about the different art festivals that are a part of Art Festival, artfestival.com. We saw you at Keystone. We saw you in Beaver Creek. And now we have you here in Frisco for kind of the the final stop on the art festival tour for you guys, right? Yes, it is. We okay. started in Aspen. This is our fourth week, and we're absolutely thrilled to be in Colorado. So you've been in the mountains for four or five weeks straight. Right. It's kind of hard to go home to Florida after being here. Are you going home to Florida, or don't you have a you have more art shows coming up on the East Coast, right? Right. I'll be in Cleveland next week, week after that, Pittsburgh. And we have a whole tour if anybody wants to know about more of our events there at artfestival.com. So, Beaver Creek, how'd that one wrap up for you guys? Pretty good? It was terrific. We had It was wonderful. We had perfect weather. A little bit of hail, but after the hail, it got beautiful. A little bit of hail, too. It just shows you the diversity of the weather like we have here, just like you have diversity of artists and mediums to work with. Frisco, Main Street, all weekend long. Um, how many art artists are going to be here? This is a big one? We have 150 artists from all wow. over the country, all different kinds of work. There's pottery, there's stained glass, there's paintings, there's photography, wearable art, a little bit of something for everybody. And I had a chance to speak with some of the artists that have been through, uh, they were at Beaver Creek or somewhere at Keystone. Do you have a lot of the artists that are here for the Colorado part of the tour? that go to all the different Colorado festivals, or do they kind of pick and choose? Well, they kind of pick and choose. It's same but different. Um, we always have beautiful work. We, we take the best of the best in these shows. You can buy a pair of earrings for maybe $20 or a sculptor for $20,000. That's so amazing. I mean, I love it. And then what do the artists do in between? Do you get to go out, you all hang out together, and maybe go out on a sailboat or go for a hike, or does that not happen? Oh, yeah, absolutely. In fact, yeah. yesterday I rode, rode a train in Georgetown, which is kind of... You went the Georgetown Loop Railroad. That's a neat railroad. It was very nice, and the weather was perfect. We had beautiful pictures. That's so good to hear. All right, so what can people expect this weekend? I think the weather's going to be good. And this one, I think, first goes a little bit different because, like, in Beaver Creek, you were in the village. Keystone, you were in the village. There was no traffic. Do you shut down Main Street for the weekend, or what do the cars do? We shut down Main Street from 7th till 3rd. Um, there's plenty of parking around. There's a lot of open parking. It's all, mostly free parking all the way, way around. There's plenty for, um, for people to do. There's restaurants. There's retail. But, of course, we want them to come to the Art Festival. Artfestival.com. Let's just say it again, artfestival.com. Uh, this is a big one, 150 artists, you said, right? That is correct. And they're Beaver from... Go from ahead. all over the country. In Beaver Creek, you had maybe 100, I think. You've had 80 to 100 at the Keystone and Beaver Creek one. So this is taking up a lot more space, a lot more artists. So I think people probably need to get here early so they can see everybody. Yes, and the city is very supportive. We work well with the city here. We're absolutely thrilled to be here. It's a beautiful location. So you're off to uh, Cleveland next? Yeah, it's kind of hard to go to Cleveland after being in Colorado. Is Cleveland next weekend? Yes, it's at the Flats in Cleveland, which is downtown near okay. the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Helene, thanks for your time. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being with Helene for the past three, four weeks with the art festivals. Go to artfestival.com to find out more about the amazing things they do and what they have to offer. Or better yet, come over to Frisco for the weekend, taking over all of Main Street, and we'll see you here in Frisco, Colorado.